Yeah, you know, getting ready to go spray this morning. These two knuckleheads think they're going. What are you two doing in here? Huh? What are you? I think you're going to get out of the way. This is a little 31 gallon um, from uh, Northern Tool. Use this thing quite a bit. Um, it's really kind of a neat little unit. It's got um, a 12 volt pump on it. You've got a remote switch. I run up into the back of the golf cart and I just reach back there and carry the battery in the back of the golf cart. Um, it's a pretty cool thing. Just pulls in, pin pulls out. The arm swings out. It's kind of on a spring here, so if you hit something, it's going to kill it. It uh, swings out and then the pin goes back in. Has about a six foot uh, six foot coverage on it, which is pretty nice. It's no center sprayer. You just have the two arms that, that fold out, and uh, holds enough to where you can get you can get something accomplished. Um, but, uh, it's been a pretty good little unit. Of course, tires never stay filled. I'm gonna have to get some run flat tires for this thing. Uh, only real drawback of this is is you know, low ground clearance. There's just I'm gonna spray this corn. You can see I've got to do it when it's it's pretty low because I've only got about maybe six inches of ground clearance under there. So, so I'm uh, thinking about if I keep doing this corn, maybe rigging up a three-point hitch and, and uh, mounting this thing to it, pull behind the tractor. Um, that way I won't have to buy anything new. But uh, this came with a um, a little wand. You could walk around with and roll it up on here and uh, the wand went there but that thing leaked like a sieve and uh, i couldn't keep it from leaking i don't know if this thing pressure was too high for it or what but i i ended up taking the whole thing off just because it was a pain in the butt and where i fill this up i'm on uh lawn so I, when i'm doing glyphosate glyphosate and i don't want to have it dribbling down on the lawn because it'll kill everything this uh the mean 24d doesn't really matter it just make the grass. I had more left over last year than I thought. But, uh, this stuff comes from uh, Tractor Supply. It was about $54 for two and a half gallons, and this will be more than enough. This stuff I used on the wheat last year, and uh, it, it did a fantastic job. This is the only stuff I found that kills the um, uh, that sickle pod. It's, uh, the Glyphosate does a little bit. It puts a hurting on it, kind of curls it up and makes it so it won't seed out, it won't develop a pod. But there's one of my spiders. This thing's all over my barn. These are vicious little things. They, they kill everything. I like having them around. But, uh, I think I mix about a quart of that, uh, 400 to the 31 gallons, and that does just about right. Uh, so I did a whole five acre field with uh, uh, probably about maybe two gallons last year. And uh, it came out really good. But it's been a good little unit. I haven't had a whole lot of trouble with it. You just kind of kind of chancy. I make sure that I rinse everything out real well. I run a lot of fresh water through this pump uh, when I'm done. Make sure I don't get any kind of crust or anything growing up in there. But, uh, Sun's coming up, I'm gonna get loaded up here and head on out to the field. Just walk down the little oak tree I got down here. Change the card out of that. Got a camera in that thing, I'll take a look at that. I'm ready to spray the field. It's, uh, it actually looks pretty good. This ground is really stiffened up. It's a good thing about this stuff is when it settles in, it settles in like concrete. I don't think this corn's gonna have any trouble um, staying up. But, uh, came up here looking through this little wheat field. I hadn't really looked at this. It's got a immense amount of, uh, I'm sorry, this is the oats. An immense amount of oats in here. Really has done well. It's got this, uh, whatever kind of wheat this is here, this stuff is a good five feet tall. It's a beautiful wheat head on it. I'm focusing on that. Uh, Uh, really, really healthy little field. I'm just going to let this go to seed and then I'll come in and disc this up. And, and, uh, 
We're going to have this in uh, soybeans here before too long. Uh, so this is kind of the setup I got here. The uh, two batteries in the back of the golf cart. It's got a little switch here that on and off. And the uh, tank is really good and clean. Hosed that out pretty well. So what I'm going to do is do uh, half a gallon to this 32 gallons. Seems to be about what, uh, what works the best. We've got about a gallon in here. I'm going to pour about half of that in here, and we'll take it up to the house and top it off and uh, get these arms swung out. Do a couple test runs to see how this thing is tracking, make sure I don't run over all my corn while I'm doing this. But, uh, we're all loaded up and ready to get hooked up. Got about 30 gallons in here. Give you an idea of the spread on this. Not sure how well. This thing sprays out pretty good. It's no joke, it puts down a lot of liquid in a short amount of time. Just kind of paste this off. Probably go to one, two, three, four, five. So it's probably doing about 15 feet of coverage behind that sprayer, which is uh, that's a pretty good amount. You can cover some some ground with that. So if you've got a big field, this thing is this has been a lifesaver for me. Uh, it's worked out really well. Used it with uh, glyphosate and the Samine 2 4 uh, It's doing a good job. So. I think we've warmed up enough now. Looks like a sickle pod might op be opening up a little bit here. Starting to open up its little leaves. Get ready for butt whooping it's about to receive. Uh, we'll be going on this for my battery bag. It's doing pretty good. Looks like these little spare tires are tracking just inside of my tire tracks. So that's good. That makes it a little easier. This stuff is supposed to have a surfactant in it, but it really looks like it's beating up on this, uh, this rake. I don't know if this is going to... Spacing really, this is where it makes a difference. Small space here, I can barely get the tires 
and the sprayer in behind that. Uh, kind of paying the price for screwing that up. But live and learn next year I'll be better. This is going pretty good. Hopefully I'll be able to make it if there's still maybe with one tank and I'll do it. I might have to put it again. I'm going pretty good. Alright, got it done on just one tank. So that was a uh, 32 gallons I guess. So hopefully that'll hurt on some of that sickle pod if not you know it's nothing to come back up and do it again but I've got to have to do it quick here once the stuff grows up tall enough I'm not gonna have a ground clearance to get in on that get over it with that little sprayer then I'll have to do something with the tractor do some kind of three-point hitch lift and mount that little sprayer to it and pull it behind the tractor but, uh, that's it for today. You see, we've got a absolutely gorgeous day growing corn.